Okay, Eric and I are working on the subfloor in the for the bus. This is the pieces of plywood that I got from Dunn Lumber, Lumber Yard. They have their tongue and groove pieces. You can see this is the, the groove. And uh yeah. And then the other side is the tongue. Um these are made for being inside of a house, it was hard to find something that would work well for the, the bus, which is going to have a lot of moisture changes. But I think this is about as good as you can go. This is three quarter inch thick, so that it'll be a good anchor for any studs or anything that's in there. Um, the inside of the bus right now is fully insulated. The floor is insulated with uh, rigid foam insulation. Uh, so what we're doing is gluing the, f we're, we're cutting the pieces. We're gluing the uh, the insulation down, and then we're gluing these pieces to the top of it, and they will work as anchors. Um, the tongue and groove should hold it all together really well. And then around the edges, I'm going to use liquid nails to, to hold everything into place so it doesn't like uh, shift around. So that's the first piece that we got in. We rounded the corners so that they'll fit better in that, in those corners. You can't really see it right now. I can't really move because I'm holding up a piece of wood right now. But uh, waiting for Eric to get back, we're going to use some liquid nails right along the uh, the line here. This is the tongue that's going to stick into that groove, and then just kind of slide it into place and put adhesive down on the uh, on the insulation stick them together and yeah that should be good yeah. all right so we got the wood in the groove it's lined up okay good enough for a subfloor put adhesive down we put some liquid nails on the edge inside yeah how's that over here it's pretty close yeah good really yeah why because it makes my gloves all sticky <laughs> Tell us what you're doing. I am putting liquid nails into the groove of this tongue and groove piece of plywood, and we are going to take this perfectly cut piece that will fit on the floor in this space. Do it better. I, can't, I don't want it to like squeeze through. Probably spray this first. Now I'm taking some adhesive and we are spraying on top of insulation. Bonus if you hit Eric. No. The reason that we're doing that is because a lot of people that have done this project before complain that certain components are too squeaky when they move down the road and they wish that they had put adhesive on everything to kind of keep stuff from sliding against itself. 
Oh, this is lined up really well. Good. Maybe we don't need pry bars. Uh, it needs to be validated. What? Yeah, do that. So by gluing everything together, it should prevent things from squeaking and moving around too much. Good. I'm going to have to put some weight on it too to hold all the glue down for a while. I feel like it needs to twist a little still. Alright, it's the celebratory play on your phones time. <laughs> we just finished the <coughs> floor of the bus. Uh, well, the subfloor of the bus. There's going to be hardwood floor to go on top of it, but got to put some weight down on the sides, but everything is held down with adhesive and liquid nails. All looks really good. Yeah. Just got to put some weight down, I think, and that's it. Okay, so after putting in the floor, the subfloor rather, uh, we have started putting the ribs on the sides of the bus and cutting some pieces. These are four foot, eight inches tall, and uh, we are wood gluing them to both to the side and screwing them in using some metal screws that I got from Tacoma Screw. And they're holding down the edges of the, uh, of the wood and uh, we're also going to be putting some wood glue into that crack, that's that little seam along the side, just to make it extra snug. Um, I'm using liquid nails, but we've got one, two, three, four, five so far in. But every single rib of the bus is going to need it, going all the way around. And then these are basically the studs that everything else is going to be anchored into. So. They're solid, not going anywhere. Um, for the windows, I actually took the screws off that were holding the windows in, and now the wood is what's holding it in. Um, two screw holes, just the same as how they were held in, but now there's a two by four. And then there will be joining pieces that go across right there and up top. And then eventually there will be a window sill and uh, the paneling will actually go directly, will be affixed directly to this, which will create a thermal bridge, so there won't be, heat won't be able to uh, transfer through the metal as easily. So, yeah. Um, we're pretty much going to stop for the day, but more to do later. And Julian is putting the liquid nails into the crack, filling all the seams. Do a really good job.